hi guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to teach you how you can create a low poly coffee machine and blender so this is our default project now go to viewport shading enable the cavity option and choose screen type to both now press in and bring the property panel set x dimension to 2.83 and y dimension to 2.46 and z dimension to 3.53 and set the z location to 1.77 now this look perfect press ctrl a and apply all transformation now let's intersect our cube with another cube press shift and add a cube now set this values for our second cube after that select our main cube object go to modifiers and add a boolean modifier pick this eyedropper and select our second cube and apply it and you can see we successfully intersect our cube with another cube now delete this cube and select this cube go to edit mode then go to edge selection mode select these two edges press ctrl b and bevel it in the bevel property set segments to 10 and after beveling these edges go back to edge selection mode select these two edges press ctrl b and also bevel it like that go back to object mode and this is the basic shape for our coffee maker machine now let's create some upper body parts for our coffee machine press shift a and add a cube press g and grab it outside like that select the scale tool and scale it down now select the move tool and place it here now go to z angle and grab it like that now select the scale tool scale it like that and place it here now scale it with this direction and adjust it like that now after adjusting it according to our upper body part go to edit mode then edge selection mode select this edge and grab it with z direction like that now select this edge and also grab it with z direction like that now press ctrl r and add a loop cut here now grab it up with z direction a bit up like that then press ctrl b and bevel it now after applying bevel on this part select this edge and this edge press e and extrude it along z direction now select this edge loop with alt button and then this edge loop press e and also extrude it along z direction like that now go back to object mode right click and shade smooth by angle and this is one of our upper part of the coffee machine now let's add another metal part for our upper side press shift a and add a cube press g and grab it up with z direction and scale it down with z angle now go to z angle grab it this side scale it down and adjust it according to the upper part and after adjust it with the upper part press g and z and grab it down with the z direction and place it here now go to edit mode and smooth some edges select the edge selection mode then select this edge and this edge press ctrl b and bevel it and we will these two edges like that now go back to object mode now in the object mode right click and shade smooth by angle and successfully we have created the upper part of our coffee maker machine now select our main cube go to edit mode then go to face selection mode select this face and extrude it outside a little bit now let's add some button and uis on this face now in the edit mode while selecting this face press shift a and add a cylinder press g and grab it up with z direction now grab it outside like that and rotate it 90 angle along y axis press s and scale it down like that now grab it here and place it like that now go to minus x angle and adjust its position now after placing it like that press shift d and duplicate it and grab it down press s and scale it up now select this face and also bevel it now select these two press shift d duplicate it again and grab it this side and place it here now again press shift d duplicate it again and grab it this side and place it here and successfully we have created some button and uis now go back to object mode right click and shade smooth by angle i think this look perfect now let's add a nut bolt for the side press shift a and add a cylinder grab it outside go to minus x angle grab it up with z direction press s and scale it down and rotate it 90 angle now go to minus y angle and place it here press s and scale it a little bit now go to edit mode by pressing tab button select this face press e and extrude it and then press s and scale it up now press e and extrude it outside like that now press b and bevel it now go back to object mode right click and shade smooth by angle and grab it inside like that to create some middle part press shift a and add a cylinder press g and grab it outside then press g again and grab it upside 
presses and scale it down now scale it along z direction and after adjusting it scale like that go to edit mode now select this face press i to insert it like that and extrude it along z direction like that now press i and insert it again and extrude it outside like that and after creating a shape like that now go back to object mode go to minus x angle and move it like that and adjust its position and then move it downside now go to y angle and place it here now right click and shade smooth by angle now let's create another part for our middle part press shift a and again add a cylinder grab it upside and then grab it outside now select the scale tool and scale it on z direction like that press this and scale it down and scale it on z direction a bit more now select the downward face and after selecting this face press i to insert it and grab it outside like that now select the upward face press x and delete it now in the edit mode press shift a and add a cylinder grab it outside and scale it down like that and grab it here now go to the angle and place our small cylinder here now press shift d and duplicate it again and press this part here now select both part press g and grab it on z direction and place it here now press s and scale it along z direction a little bit and place it here now select this face press x and delete it and after that select this face and also delete it now go to minus x angle press ctrl r and add a loop cut and place it here and then again press r add a loop cut and place it here now go to face selection mode select these two faces now go to y angle and extrude it outside and i think this is perfect now go to object mode right click and shade smooth by angle now select the move tool and move it here now place it here and grab it down with z direction and perfectly align it with other object now let's create a handle for our coffee machine for creating a handle for our coffee machine press shift a and add a cylinder press g and grab it outside and place it here now press this and scale it down now select the scale tool and scale it along z direction like that now go to edit mode press this and scale it a bit more now select this face press i to insert it like that and extrude it outside now press ctrl b and bevel it now select this face press a and extrude it outside and now select the downward face press i to insert it and extrude it along z direction and this is our simple handle for our coffee machine now go to object mode select the move tool and grab it this side and place it here now press r and rotate it a little bit like that now let's create a metal part so where we can keep our coffee cup press shift a and add a cube Choose the scale tool and scale it down and adjust its size and place it here. Now go to edit mode, then edge selection mode, select this edge and then this edge. Press B and bevel it for, for a smooth edge. Now go back to object mode, right click and shade smooth by angle. Now let's import two coffee mug which I have already created in a previous video. You will find the link of this video in the comment section and the description of this video. And this is our coffee mug grab it outside and place it here adjust its size and place it here and this is our basic shape of our low poly coffee maker machine now let's create some material go to material preview now select our main cube go to edit mode now select our main cube go to materials preview and in the base color choose red color now go to edit mode now in the edit mode select these three button now add a new material press on the new button and choose a silver like color now increase the metallic property and decrease the roughness a little bit and press on the assign button and this is our button for our coffee machine now go back to edit mode select this ui button press on the new material and in the base color choose green color press on the assign button now select these two ui and select this material and press on the assign button now select this face add a new material choose white color increase the metallic property and decrease the roughness and press on the assign button now select this upper part and assign the red material and after that select this part and assign our silver color material now select our handle and assign this material after that select this part add a new material choose dark color increase the metallic properties and decrease the roughness a little bit now select this part in the material select this material now select this metal blade and assign this material and here it is this is our low poly coffee machine in blender 3d i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and tell us your reaction in the comment section thanks for watching this video